Hi. Hi. I have 12 questions to ask you. Okay. Uh, first one. What can you tell us about the conception of the screenplay for James White, please? Um, uh, started, uh, I was searching for something to say and I started, uh, my partner had suggested a book to me and I started working on that and then I was encouraged to make a story about the relationship uh, between a, a son and his mother uh, from my own personal experiences. And uh, yeah, I was going through a period in my life okay. where my mother was sick and she died, and uh, that was an exploration of that. Which movies or book have been a source of inspiration for you for this film? For this film? Yeah. Did you see some did you written book, for example? Did you see some movie before to turn? Um, uh, movies, be Beautiful yeah. by Inaratu. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Law and Order. Okay. The American TV show. Yeah. Um, I, I read a book a long time ago called uh, Rebel Without a Crew, and it's in, by Robert Rodriguez, which is always an inspiration um, that it was possible to make movies. Okay. Um, you know, my partner's movies. Uh, Antonio Campos made After School. Okay. And Simon Killer and Sean Durkin made Martha Marcy May Marlene. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then that's yeah. Okay. James White is your first movie and the first to be presented in the Dovid American Film Festival in competition. Yesterday, this one has been shown and acclaimed. What do you think about the festival and the French audience? Um, I haven't really met much of the audience yet. Okay. Um, the festival is peaceful. Yeah. Uh, place to recover. Yeah. Uh, a place to enjoy. Enjoy cinema. And yes. so I'm, I saw Madame Bovary today. Okay. And I think we're going to see Mr. Holmes tonight. Yeah. It's a festival where you actually get to see the movies. Yes, of course. And I think that's important. Okay. Did you like Holmes? Yes. I haven't seen it yet. I'm seeing oh, it tonight. Tonight? Okay. It's a good one. We saw in the press presentation this morning. You enjoyed Excellent. it? Yeah. I love Ian McKellen. You, you must read this this I morning. can't wait. I love Ian <laughs> It's McKellen. a good one. Yeah. Uh, how did you choose your main actors for this film, Christopher Abbott and Cynthia Nixon? Uh, Chris, uh, my partners and I met a long time ago through another film. Okay. And then he did Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene. Okay. And we became like brothers, friends. Okay. And um, we worked on something together that I directed, which was like an experimental precursor to James okay and he was just it couldn't have been anybody else but him it's perfect as a role yes yeah and Cynthia she had read the script and we, we met and okay. uh, shared a lot of personal things and our experiences and and we connected and I feel the same way about Cynthia I learned a lot from both of them and that's that's how it works it's a good choice for the actor yes. yeah I was good very choice. lucky yes what are the main difficulties that you have met during the shoot of this film? Production? Uh... Every day there's stuff. Uh, <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> we, sh we shot the film in a very short amount of time and shot mm -hmm. a lot of pages and we shot all over New York, which was the first time we shot in New York City. Okay. Um, it was difficult to... Uh, no, man. Every every day was difficult. It, I mean, <laughs> every day was fun, but it was also like it was a challenge to to move from one scene to the next. Okay. Good. Um, your film is an authentic and visceral acted drama. How did you choose the right way to create it for the impromptu? The way that we shot it. Yes. I, I was a, a conversation between a collaboration with me and my DP. Okay. Um, I, I've always been in, in the script. A lot of the sequences were scripted like this. Yes. And um, in the short film, there was a lot of that. Okay. But through the discussion with my DP, we, we committed to the idea of being like that the whole time because I think it, for both of us, I hope that for him as well, but that it really refre reflected his state of mind in New York City. Yes. You know, I just that he couldn't run away from himself and the intensity, it, it magnified it. Good choice. 
or which take uh, was the most difficult to create during the uh, filming? Huh. Last one, maybe? Uh, no, the, the last one was kind of... It, it was... It wasn't... It just happened. Yes. Like, we... It was supposed to go into something else, yes. and then when we were shooting it, he was, he was supposed to just smoke a little bit, and we all felt something. And okay. uh, I just said, finish the cigarette, finish it. Yeah. And then my cinematographer and my assistant cameraman looked over at me and they said, that's the end of the movie. And that was it. Good. Your film is scheduled to for the 13th November 2015 in USA and not in, in France. Can you talk a little about the difficulties to produce and direct your first film actually? Um, to get it made, uh, we were lucky to have investors who knew our other films and how we make them. Okay. Um, they fought to raise the money for the film, and um, I didn't. I wasn't directly involved, but I know that it was tough yeah. to get money for the film. Um, you know, in terms of distributing a movie like this in America, we're with a, uh, a distributor that is newer. Yeah. but have been nothing but aggressive with putting it out there they've yes. kind of the way that the movie is yes their company is okay in the sense of they have courage yeah do you know what I mean yeah, yeah no, no, it's no, no. hard it's hard to take risks sure. yeah and I think and I really uh, we really got lucky yes so it's hard for people to find distributors and we got lucky on this one it's the same thing in, in France so uh, what are your favorite movies? What a what? Your favorite movies? Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe one or two. Uh, this could be like a two-hour. Two uh, 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 I love uh, Joachim Trier, uh, Oslo, August thirty-first. Okay. I love uh, the past. Okay. I love True Romance. <laughs> um, I love uh, Denis Villeneuve. Um, I've fallen in love with Cassavetes. Yeah, I've you know Zoe Casavetes, her daughter is here actually. I know, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be like I love you. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I love uh, beautiful again. Um, I even I love uh, a lot of Ridley Scott. I love Tony Scott. Yeah, um, true romance. You know, yeah. true romance. But even like his even Man on Fire is like enjoyable. Um, and I, I guess, of course, there's Paul Thomas Anderson and Michael Haneke, but we don't even say that because it's obvious. <laughs> of course. Um, what is the most important accomplishment to this date? Mine? Yeah, for this movie, for example, uh, of a project that you are working on. The most, but you're asking, the most important accomplishment uh, that yes, I've made? Uh, yes. Maybe to turn this movie. To show it in a big festival, something like uh, that. To 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 get the movie finished and to feel feel comfortable and good yes. about it. Yeah, that was a big. Accomplishment. You like the result? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that, that didn't. That, that I'm still working on that, but I think I, I got that just when I finished the film. Good. What kind of advice could you give to someone who would like to work as a director? Um, huh. Saying you don't know. Yes is important yeah. and being okay with that yes. and making sure you have the people around you that you admire mm. and, and trust trust your instincts with people okay. don't ignore it good and my last question will be what are your current projects after this movie do you have to begin to write another script for example mm -hmm. do you return a movie uh, this year or next year do you have some project like this i'm working on something now that's uh that i'm starting to write okay. um there are no real details about it but uh and then my partner's film uh Antonio campos has a new movie called christine starring rebecca hall yeah uh, which he's editing right now um, and uh, there's another filmmaker, two filmmakers we're supporting right now that are new filmmakers. But I saw that in yesterday in EMDB that you are executive producer, of course, of Christine, for example. Mm. So That's Antonio's movie, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw this yesterday. Thank you for this great interview. Thank you, and thank, thank you, you for seeing the movie. Yeah, thank you. Cool <laughs> thank piece, you. <laughs> Have a good time. Thank you, man. <laughs>